Hi everyone, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm Guillaume Allard. Uh, I work for Société Générale, uh, one of the biggest and oldest uh, bank in France. Uh, I'm a cloud principal engineer, um, and I am also the product owner of uh, the OpenStack Compute Services of uh, our cloud platform uh, at Société Générale. Today, uh, I will share with you uh, the the challenges we faced, we faced uh, during uh, the scaling of our OpenStack deployment for the last two years uh, with Florian. So, so Société Générale has a multi-cloud strategy uh, to allow applications to be hosted on uh, both uh, public cloud and private cloud, uh, depending on the confiden confidentiality of, of the, the data and the policy uh, we have. Um, and on the private uh, cloud side, we expose uh, the Azure Cloud Platform, um, and this is um, the console of the private cloud platform uh, that uh, can be uh, used by application uh, internally. The Azure Cloud Platform enables the application to consume infrastructure uh, through APIs. Uh, and uh, OpenStack aims to host uh, cloud native applications. Uh, we also uh, propose uh, VMware services for uh, uh, applications that uh, are not transformed. So OpenStack uh, uh, runs the compute side, the block storage with Cinder, and also uh, the security groups. As we are a, a bank, uh, we, we rely a lot of security groups with Notron. Um, and uh, many other services, the, the blue one, uh, rely on OpenStack to deploy uh, their own services on top of us, and they expose also an API for the consumer to, to, to get managed services like uh, PostgreSQL as a service or uh, RabbitMQ. The uh, LG Cloud platform is available in four regions in the world. Um, uh, sorry, uh, the services are, are uh, exposed through an API, uh, each, uh, each service is exposed to Swagger, um, and uh, we have an internal Terraform plugin to uh, ease uh, the access for application uh, at the consumption. And uh, the cloud platform is available in four regions in the world, and in uh, eight AZ. Uh, so you can see here the deployment in the world, but we have uh, one big region in Paris area uh, where we have uh, today 350 uh, compute nodes, approximately. Uh, so we are running uh, an upstream version of uh, Usuri, deployed with Colon and Sybil. For storage, we use uh, Ceph, also uh, upstream. Uh, we have um, around uh, 18,000 uh, 18, VM uh, deployed in, in the world and uh, 450 computes. Uh, we are member, silver member of the foundation, uh, and we also contribute uh, so far with uh, around 4,000 lines of code in uh, OpenStack upstream. So uh, the first challenge we have while uh, scaling uh, our deployment was uh, the people, and uh, this is still a challenge for us. Uh, last year, we were four in the team, and now we are nine, uh, so one product owner and uh, eight uh, DevOps, uh, five in France and three in India. Uh, so we work in around two time zones, and uh, if, if you want to join, you, you get the, the link here to apply. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Leduc. Uh, so I'm part of the feature team that Guillaume mentioned before. And the second challenge that we have faced with OpenStack was related to constraint that the bank um, applies and uh, regarding um, uh, the strong uh, network isolation between applications, entities, and uh, activities of the bank because we do financials and retailing uh, activities. And all those applications cannot share the same network for some reason. So we use massively the um, rooted provider network with VLAN, with 
with Villain. <coughs> uh, and we and and then so so uh, we have many projects that has been onboarded. So five thousand now in Paris, but, but mainly the challenges that we are facing are now in Paris, uh, with one hundred and twenty uh, and twenty networks, which represent now. Uh, um, one, uh, 160k airbag rules because all those network cannot has to be shared between tenants uh, and not all network m must be seen, shown and used uh, between all entities and all projects in OpenStack. So, uh, so we have faced problem with the airbag model that is used in Neutron and we have made the first solution was internal patches that are not yet upstream but this year we will work on having something more robust and shared with the community regarding those problems. Uh, the second challenge the, for the network and uh, the, the routed provider network that, uh, feature that we use with segments is that every time you register, uh, you add a new node or restart the new trend services, uh, there is an internal component that uh, triggers some calls to register the node inside a segment and an aggregate. And the more we have networks, the more segments and aggregates we have, the more uh, and the more compute node we had. Uh, we had many problems by to restart our services, OVS agent or Neutron services. So we have merged a patch to avoid that. So uh, which was really a relief because we could operate our control plane properly. <laughs> Again, uh, the third challenge for the network is the limitation for the segment plugin for the routed provider network uh, that does not allow to have more than one segment per network per host. Uh, we have a patch internally that we are testing in our labs and we will try to, and we have already uh, pushed those patch to the community. They are being reviewed, so work in progress for that. Uh, because those, uh, those, for, um, the, the limitation forbid us to add new subnets in the, our network per segment per host. So as we are growing, the subnets are now full. So we have to create new networks with new subnets and we cannot add subnets in the existing networks that we have. So that was, uh, that was not the, the experience that we wanted to give to the user. They, would, they need to have the same network name and whatever the subnet that have behind, we don't care. They don't care, I mean. Um, the, uh, the, the challenge number three was the control plane because the more we add nodes, the more we have to handle maybe queues, find out queues in RabbitMQ, more, 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 more calls to the Neutron's API, and also the, high, the adoption was very high during uh, the last year, as uh, Guillaume showed us. Uh, and we have, have 1,500 instances created and destroyed per day. So it creates a lot of load on the control plane and even on the resource plane. So the, so the adoption, the high adoption was, was an issue because we did not know yet what, was, what would be the next bottleneck and what would be the next components to scale uh, because we need to maybe have more better monitoring and working on that. And, but even though in order to avoid new issues, new incidents, uh, we do capacity reviews, uh, and we follow the large scale C recommendation uh, uh, community. Uh, and today we have started with, th with one AZ in Paris. It was three control nodes on, on one AZ, and then we have opened a new AZ in Paris, so we had spread the, the control nodes. Uh, so we had four control nodes in two AZs, and La, in June last year, uh, in December last year, we had eight nodes on both AZ, and now it's 12 nodes on the control plate just for Paris. Uh, I think that's all. And as we are a bank, security is important. <laughs> and the, 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 the policy is that we use the zero trust model, so uh, no allowed traffic should be. Uh, not no no other no traffic should should come across each port on OpenStack. So uh, we have faced an issue with the zero trust model because we uh, with the airbag rules we were sharing one security group for all the projects uh, uh, for some projects. Sorry, but those uh, those security group contained uh, one, more than 100 rules. 
So it was an issue because they were, when they were updated, we needed to update all the parts in all, all the, um, the instances in OVS. So there was an issue and afterwards we have suffered uh, an incident that uh, we were not able to restart properly the instances because the deletion of the open flow rules took too many times. And uh, by the time it, it comes back, the, the, the VM restarts and uh, the DHCP open, v flow, open flows rules was not applied. So the instances were not able to get their DHCP request response, sorry. So it was really, really uh, an issue uh, lately. Uh, so what we have done is to re reduce the number of nodes and we are working, we will, we will work on a contribution on the OVS agent to avoid that in, in the future. But apparently uh, someone, in, I think I've seen him uh, in, in, in the room, he, he told us that he has found an issue because he's also using the, uh, the OpenV switch firewall uh, plugin. So maybe we will test that in our lab to, just to make sure it fits well and, and it fixed the issue. Uh, so even with all those challenges, so we are pretty proud what, of what we are now. Uh, the adoption, the high adoption is, keep, is growing. Uh, we, we plan to add many, many more nodes, onboard new, new pro many, many new projects in Societe Generale from all over, all, all entities. So uh, the growth is very high, the adoption as well, and uh, we plan also to have new features for our users. Uh, but uh, yes, it's been, it's been a good journey with uh, working with OpenStack. So I think that's pretty all. And uh, you have the QR code, <laughs> the same for the, the OpenStack uh, job that, uh, that is on the website for the, the position. So uh, now if you have uh, any question for, for us. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, you have to, uh, either you, you, you ask the question or you go to the microphone, wh whatever. Uh, some of them, yes. Some of them, the, uh, the num for the number of compute nodes, the patch is, is merged. Uh, for uh, the segment, it's already, it's already upstream, but not yet merged. Yeah, because it's been reviewed by the, by the, the community. Uh, so we have internal patches for airbag. It's not yet done. Uh, so because we need to prioritize. So, but some of them, yes, yes, most of them, I would say also. Uh, in the past, also we have made contributions in Cola and Sybil as well, and not only in Neutron or Nova or Keystone. Uh, so uh, yeah, mo most of them are, are there because you know every time we want to upgrade. <laughs> We want to avoid to have to do a backport of our patch or whatever to the next release. Any other question? Um, the question is how did we? Manage to reduce the number of rules uh, to avoid the, the issues that we have with the the the, the, the sharing of the security groups in for all the projects. So mainly we have reviewed because the security group is managed by another team, and we have reviewed all the rules, and we have make sure that the, all the egress traffic does not are allowed for egress, which was okay for the security uh, policy, uh, and we have kept only. Um, Bastion IP addresses ranges, uh, Puppet, Puppet Master, because we have Puppet Master that configures the instances uh, for authentication and everything. And, uh, and some, uh, and I think that's all again. Uh, yeah, yes, that's all. But this is still an issue as uh, on top of that, uh, each application is able to put his own security rules. Uh, so, yeah, there is still a lot of work here uh, to, to enable uh, the support of more rules per, uh, per node. Per node um, yeah. Maybe we encounter also this issue because uh, sometimes we have big nodes uh, with uh, 96 cores, 2 terabytes of memory, with a lot of VM. 
So uh, at the OpenV switch level, there is a, a huge number of, uh, of rules, of flows. And as the OVS agent is monothreaded, so it's all the actions are quite much sequential. So when it fetches a message to do something, you need to wait until it has finished what it has to be done. And then uh, you can maybe create a new port, uh, whatever, what's inside the, the message queue, uh, what, what would be the next. Uh, so yes, this is a topic. <laughs> Oh, that's a good question uh, because we know that they maintain those rules in a Git repository, but uh, I think after something like 60 or 70 rules, we were st uh, starting having problem while restarting the instances. They could not boot up properly because they, they could not fetch the, the HTTP response because the open flow rules that OVS agent puts was not there because it was busy doing other things. <laughs> so I think around 60 rules, yes, we, we started to have problem. And but with the OpenStack, uh, OpenV switch firewall uh, 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 plugin, sorry. Yeah, and, and also uh, the, um, the Zero Trust uh, model has been uh, enforced uh, last year on July for new project onboarding. Uh, so there was uh, already a lot of project without this policy. That, was, uh, that were running fine so far. Uh, and then the, the security enforced the policy uh, time after time. So it took almost one year to reach the point where uh, the majority of projects needed to, uh, to have this, uh, this, this um, policy. And then we have too, too many rules uh, per, uh, per node. The question is uh, when, uh, no, the question is? So uh, you made a little contribution to OVS agent to fix the, uh, the problem that you were, that you were encountering. Yeah, I mean. Have you tried to sort of ramp it up to try and fix it? So everything is tested right now. Uh, it will be tested, sorry, uh, because the problem was really recent. Uh, so maybe it was one month ago. And uh, uh, so the contribution will be will be pushed uh, whenever we are ready. So, uh, but uh, for the testing, uh, I think uh, mm, we haven't made enough tests yet to be sure that uh, we won't break anything or, or maybe change the behavior of the OVS agent, which is something we don't want. Any other question? Thank you. Thank you very much.